It's time to go on a journey, a search for treasure. This is no ordinary treasure though. This priceless discovery contains God's word, including secrets from the past and future that will change your life. Welcome to Bible Treasures. When I was digging it, yeah. it was weird because when I picked it up, I don't Hey guys, oh, Sam, Sam. Did you hear that past, present, and future got into a big argument? No, oh, I, didn't. I didn't. Yeah, things got pretty tense. Tense? You know, past tense, present tense. Oh, oh, good one. Hey, hey everybody, how's it going? Hey. Good to see you guys. Come on in. Good to see you too. Man, it's a great day again, and welcome to Bible Treasures. My name is Rich Aguilera, and there's an awesome team assembled here working for you. Let's meet them. Hi, I'm Tim, and I'm the computer ops guy. Awesome. And I'm Sam, your expert when it comes to historical documents. And I'm Nori, and I love to handle all the beautiful artifacts. Very cool. Guys, you know what? Before we get started, we should probably sharpen our brain. Oh, good yeah. brain teaser. Got an awesome brain teaser for you guys. Cool. Let's see if you guys can get this one. Okay. You guys are so smart. Here we go. Thank you. What do you throw out when you want to use it, mm. but take it in when you don't want to use it? Not sure. Wow. I need some I more know. time to think about it. All right, yeah, think about too. that one. Oh, did we get a message? Yeah. Ooh, cool. Could be Let's headquarters. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Wow. I've been thinking about something lately. Well, what's the best way to know God? Well, that's a short question. <laughs> yeah. But it's a good one. It yeah, is. True. It's a short and sweet question, but it is. Powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. How do we respond? Well, you know what? Let's write this down first of all in our right, journal. Right, in the journal. Yep. Good idea. How do I learn about God? That's a good question. Yeah. It's a really good question they asked. Hmm. You know what, though? I think I know what to do. What should we what? do? We need an artifact. Can Demo we go get it for us? What now? number? I think probably 26A will do the trick. One, okay. It's yeah. so good that we have all these cool artifacts. Yeah, you know, we're out here digging stuff up, but we also have some cool stuff from the past. Here very it is. Cool. Nice awesome. Box. Yes. Cool. Thank you very much. See what I got in here. What is it? Ew! Awesome! <laughs> what are those? Uh -uh. These are shark's teeth. I knew it. Ew. Yeah. You yeah, want to hold one? Hold one? There you go. Wow. Nora, you want one? Thank <laughs> you. They're sharp. Yep. Mm -mm. These are shark's teeth that I found in Florida. Oh, cool. Wow. And you know what? Around the waters of Florida, they say there's lots of sharks. Oh, no, That's I will scary. never go there. <laughs> hey, uh, Sam, why don't you show us on the map where Florida is? Oh, right. It's right here in the United States. There it is. Oh, there it is. Very cool. But you know what? We could probably still learn some pretty cool stuff about Florida. Yeah. Why don't you show us something? Is there a location brief you think yeah, on think Florida? Yeah, I think I Let's go Let's find it. Let's check it out. I have to see it. Hmm. Oh, right there. Yep. Wow. Location Brief, Florida. Florida is one of the most well-known of the United States. Most of the state sits on a huge peninsula that extends out between the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean. It's one of the flattest states, as well as the state with the lowest elevation above sea level. Florida has become a popular destination because of the tempered climate year-round. Summers can get hot and humid, but winters are very pleasant, therefore attracting millions of visitors from colder regions. Nevertheless, Florida is no stranger to extreme weather, with massive hurricanes posing severe threats every once in a while, as well as tropical storms that can be very destructive. Because of the warm weather, Florida is home to a variety of plants and trees, including palm trees and mangroves that dominate the low-lying Everglades. It's also home to expensive orange crops. Florida is also home to a handful of unique types of wildlife. In the waters around Florida, one can see dolphins and manatee, 
while on land there are creatures such as the Florida panther and the black bear, as well as deer and foxes and wild boar. A large variety of reptiles are also commonly found in Florida, including the alligator and a variety of snakes, lizards and turtles. As for birds, the list of birds commonly found in Florida include the peregrine falcon, flamingos, cranes, pelicans, and of course, with this much coastline, seagulls. Florida also hosts the only living coral barrier reef in the continental United States and happens to be the third largest reef system in the world. Because of all this amazing nature, several impressive national parks and preserves have been established in Florida, including the Everglades National Park, Big Cypress National Preserve, Biscayne National Park, and the Dry Tortugas at the end of Key West. When the first European explorers arrived, they called this land La Florida, which means land of flowers. In the 500 years after that, Florida has become famous for a massive tourist industry led by Disney World, as well as the Kennedy Space Center, the primary launch center for human spaceflight, including the space shuttle launches and the Apollo flights. In Miami, the port has become the world's largest cruise ship port. This concludes this location brief. Cool. Yeah, all those amazing attractions. Mm -hmm. Florida's a neat place yeah. and a really nice warm place to go in the winter. <laughs> yeah. When I was a kid, I actually used to live in Florida. Oh, really? really? Mm -hmm. Cool. Was yep. it fun? It was great. And you know what my favorite part was? What? Every once in a while, my parents would take me to a dolphin show. Oh, a dolphin show? Awesome. Yeah, it was cool. They'd do tricks and jumping around. Oh, I wish I could cool. have been there. It was so me cool. Too. But you know what happened? Just about a year or two ago, I got to go back with my family. Aww. We were taking a little vacation over spring break. Mm -hmm. and, Did you get to see a dolphin? Well, guess what happened? I ran into some friends, and they had a boat. Really? So really? they said, hey, you guys want to go out on the boat with us? And we said, sure, that sounds great. And we went out uh, on the Gulf of Mexico Ooh. in a boat near Fort Myers, and we saw dolphins. Oh, you did? Awesome. Did you yeah. take a lot of pictures? We did take a lot of pictures. Oh. We saw them jumping around a couple of times. They got really close, like literally a foot or two away from our really? boat. Really close? It was that nice. Would have been and when awesome. I was little, I used to just study dolphins and know everything about them. And then when I got to see them so close up, it was a treat. Oh, I bet. Wow. Now, here's what happened, though. On that same trip, hmm? we were sitting on the beach, yeah. chilling out. Ooh. It was in the evening. The sun was mm. kind of starting to set. Pretty. A lot of people had already left the beach, mm -hmm. uh -huh. but out in front of us, there was three guys. I think they were about college age guys. They were oh. still sitting in the water, just having fun, playing, throwing a Frisbee or something. Oh, okay. We were sitting on the beach, nothing big. All of a sudden, the three guys come running out the beach. And you know what they were saying? Shark. Shark, oh, no, shark, no shark, way. shark. It was an actual shark. Well, we looked up and we were just shocked at what these guys were saying. <gasps> and I looked out into the water and sure enough, I saw a fin. But you'll oh. never guess what I did. What? what did I you got do? up and ran towards the water. What? Why would no. you do that? You're kidding. You're the crazy. guys were running out and I was running in. You know why? Why? Because I had recognized that it was not a shark. It was a dolphin. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and my sons came with me and we got as close as we could to the dolphin. I think it was about 20 feet away from us and we just had a super fun time. Aww. And it made me yeah. think, wow, those guys couldn't recognize the difference between the dorsal shark fin of a shark or a dolphin. Or a dolphin. Yeah. Do you think it made a difference to know the dolphin, to be able to recognize a dolphin? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And the question today was asking about how do we get to know God? Mm -hmm. We get to know God by studying mm -hmm. and reading and learning and praying. Yeah, being right. aware of him. Absolutely. Reading the Bible. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you know what, Sam? I think there's a verse that we can find cool. that will help us with this. All right. Can you Which look up Mark? One thirty-five. Mark is about one here, right here. Yep, this verse is going to be great. Now, in the morning, having risen a long while before daylight, he went out and departed to a solitary place, and there he prayed. 
Hmm. There's a clue right there. Yeah. Great verse that tells us how he went to a quiet and solitary place to connect with God and to get to know God. Mm -hmm. You know what? We've got to write this verse down. Yeah, good that idea. was an awesome verse. That was what Mark... Uh, Mark 1, 35. Mark 1, 35. And it shows how he connected with his father and we connect with our father, which is him. That is awesome. Right. Mm -hmm. Great verse. I saw a video on there. Let's go check it out. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, true. I did yeah. bring some video back let's from that see trip. It. Maybe a few pictures. Oh, let's see it. Oh, look. See, oh, look at the dolphins. That's so cute. That's so cute. cute. Oh, wow. Look at that look one. At that. Oh, that's wow, really that's cute. awesome. Yeah. Oh. I like that. One. Spending time with God is the key to getting to know Him better. I'm pretty sure each one of you has a close friend. The question is, how did you become close friends? Were you close friends the moment you met? Or did you become close friends because you spent time with each other? Mm -hmm. Spending time together is how you get to know friends here on earth, but it's also the same way we get to know our Father who is in heaven. So, how do we spend time with God? It's true, it's not like we can go out and get ice cream together, but I think that someday in heaven it will be kind of like that, that we'll be able to just hang out and get to know God. Yeah. But the best thing we can do now is to spend time reading His Word. Mm, good idea. The Bible is filled with stories and examples of God and His amazing love. It's filled with stories of how God created the world and how He loved us so much that He wanted to save us when we accidentally messed up and sinned. Yeah. It also has the story of how God's own Son came and took our punishment so that we could still have a chance to be saved. Plus, there are countless stories about how God worked through people throughout history. People like Noah and Joseph and Esther and yeah. Paul. You want to get to know God? Start right here. Yeah, in His Word. Right. But the next thing you want to do is spend quiet time talking to Him. Thank Him for what He's done in your life. Tell Him the problems and the concerns that you have. Worship and praise Him for His amazing love. The more time you spend with Him, the more you will know Him. <laughs> it says it right there in today's Bible treasure. Mm. Why don't we have a prayer together? That's a good oh, idea. Let's get the rest of the gang come that come on. in. Hey, crew, come on, hey guys. Come on in, come on. guys. Come on. Yeah. Would one of you guys like to pray for us? Uh, sure, I will. I'd awesome. love to. Thanks, Nori. Why don't we bow our heads and have prayer? Dear Jesus, thank you for the opportunity of spending time with you and your holy word in prayer. Help us to do this every day. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, how many of you guys want to know the answer to our brain or teaser? Brain teaser. Yeah. All right, yeah. let's see if you guys could figure this oh, out. That was a tough right. one. That was a real tough one. Mm. Let me remind you what I had asked. Okay. What do you throw out when you want to use it, mm. but take in when you don't want to use it? I can't get that one. Garbage? Yeah, <laughs> no. Garbage? Mm. I just thought, uh, mm. an anchor. That's oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Tim got it. <laughs> Throw it out. I'm so glad you joined us today for Bible Treasures. Don't forget to search for treasure every day. See you next time. Come on, guys. Let's head out to the dig site. Oh, good digging, guys. We're going to find wow. some cool know, stuff today. To see we're gonna find stuff. That would be cool if we find sharks. Can you imagine? Thank <laughs> you.